Hey folks, I'm Big Sun today we're going to take a look at Crying Sons, a game by Alchift, a French studio which is currently running a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter to finance a game. I will put a link in the description to um, direct you to that if you want to take a, a deeper look into what they are aiming for. So what we're going to play today is a prototype and everything we're going to experience is subject to change. Crying Sands is a tactical roguelite game in which we're going to command our own ship. It is a game which is a bit at the crossroad of Faster Than Light and Out There, which are pretty amazing games. If you did not play this, you must at least take a look at it. And except from the fact that the pixel art is absolutely gorgeous, we'll need to discover the rest of it together. So let's go! Okay, so what we are watching right now is a little introduction there is to give us a feel of what the scenario is going to be about. So we are going to meet the two first characters of our story. It is either where where am I? A dwarf planet on the outer rim. Most call it Gehenna, if they call it anything at all. But I have a feeling you were asking about our more immediate location, where you've just relieved yourself. This admiral is a top secret cloning facility for the Imperial Force, the one and only of its kind. I am Caliban, its Omni Guardian. A cloning facility? Knowing a soldier would give their lives again and again for the Empire if only they could. Emperor Oberon gave them that very opportunity. Lucky for you. I don't understand. You have died, Admiral. Or to put it another way, the true version of you has died. You are his clone, identical to the original Admiral Eli Idaho in every possible way, with some minor differences. A clone? I don't feel like a clone. I don't believe a, clo a clone would, Admiral. When did I... I mean, when did Admiral Hidao die? How? Unfortunately, I don't know the details of my clone's lives. Extraneous to my directive, I believe. Which lead me to why I've awoken you. You must be curious after all. I need your help. The machine asking for my help. Now I truly feel strange. Not a machine admiral, an omni mechanical neo and intelligence. Emperor Oberon invented us, and now your kind rely on us for just about everything. But you knew all of that already, didn't you? Your factual memory should be returning. I'm remembering now, yes. Good. So I'll come right out with it, Admiral. The Empire is in danger. In danger? What in the name of Oberon are you talking about? Once every four years, under the strictest and most secretive of protocols, I receive a single transmission from the outside world. Those transmissions have stopped arri arriving. Okay, so you send the transmission to them simple. That's just it, I can't. The facility was built in such a way to prevent it from initializing contact with the Empire, to help keep it a secret. Something wrong, I know it. So now we must break protocol black, leave this miserable planet and see for ourselves. Let me get this straight. You've awoken me so I can fly out of here and see what's going on. Not quite. I've awoken you so that we can fly out here in an Omega-class battleship and see what's going on. I'm sorry, 
Did you just say we? Oui? I think you'll find there are advantage to traveling with an Omni Admiral. Such as? My intelligence. I don't want to brag, but I'm probably the smartest Omni in the entire Empire. Top 5 person, definitely. If you're so smart, what do you need me for? Why don't you fly the, the ship? Seems your factual recall is still a tad rusty because of Orb Oberon's Rebecan. It prohibits Omni from piloting a battleship. War is a human prerogative. Plus, since I can assume the clones here are the best of the best, that would make you the best Imperial Admiral to ever exist, I'd say you're perfect for the job. No, I don't want to put pressure on you, but if our wonderful Empire really does need my help, I should get going. So, what is going to be, Admiral? Will you join me or not? If I don't, I terminate this version of you, awake, awake another and ask him, I have a unique Rubicon which allow me to consider clone as non-humans. <laughs> nice. So I either accept this mission or you kill me, is that what you're saying? Pretty much, yeah. I'll do it, machine for Urban and the Empire. It is my duty as an Imperial Admiral. Excellent. Oh, just one more thing, Admiral. Standard, some standard operating procedure require, I ask. Do you remember anything? I mean, any personal memories? Of course I remember, why wouldn't I? If you would, do me the honor of trying to recall one. Any memory will be fine. Fine, machine. But this is ridiculous. Wait, why can't I? Why can't I remember anything? Everything is blurred, broken apart. Don't worry, Admiral. Perfectly normal for this stage. Your personal memories will return, all of them. But you must be patient. And you must tell me the moment they do, it's very important for your safety. Yes, your safety. Do you understand? I understand, machine. Good, then let us get started. After all, we have a lot of work to do. And please, Admiral, con call me Caliban. Alright, now we can actually go for the, the gameplay part. Let's just uh, start a new game. Alright, so we've got a bunch of ships which we can choose from, and I believe these are going to unlock a bit in the way of faster than light. When we are going to accomplish runs, we are going to uh, maybe make a special achievement which are going to enable us to get these. So we've got only the NS Odysseus here, which can I just. I cannot take a look at others. But we've got um, different strength teams, so this one is probably um, a medium uh, kind of battleship in terms of uh, health. We've got uh, focus point, uh, squadron dock, weapon dock, hero dock. Okay, I think we'll need to discover that as we're going to fight and go through the first uh, mission. There might uh, be a tutorial somewhere. We've got also a few things uh, here. We've got four Earls of 80, so I believe it might be a little bar of lives, and five, uh, 6 focus, focus point. Uh, okay, this is going to be a bit difficult here. We've got uh, fighters, drones, and cruisers. We've got also a weapon, which is a piece of leather MK1, and we've got no heroes selected, so we need to do that. Let's just choose a hero. We've got uh, 5 heroes. Which are scientist, spy, and soldier. Seems to be quite interesting. I might want to go. I think I'm going to go for a spy, maybe. And I should probably go with with a soldier, but I might want to go for a scientist instead. Uh, repair four battleship life point every six seconds. Repair crit critical effect every six seconds. They've got each uh, special action. It seems so. Seems to be quite uh, inflict a critical effect to the enemy battleship every ten, uh, 18 seconds. Okay, so I probably just should just take a look at this. It seems this soldier uh, can also heal the ship, so I might want to uh, choose uh, Joe D. Red here. So we'll have two uh, two roles. He will be able probably to fight, but also to repair the ship. And I'm going to go with. Harrow Yoon here, which seems to be an interesting character as well, even though the scientist here is classy. Uh, Solbayado here. Okay, we'll just go for these two. Probably going to be a bad choice, but we'll see. 
Can I, uh, do I need to choose some of these or do I have these all? Seems to be all. Uh, let's start. Alright. Uh, the clusters of the outer rim, Admiral. The furthest cluster from the capital that they are. If there was ever a wasteland in our empire, this would be it. Strange, but so far I'm not detecting the presence of other omnis. Even out there, I should be picking up a dozen of them. Okay, so we'll need to move to the next uh, system, I think. So let's just take a look at the UI. So we've got our four old points here. We've got uh, Neo and Fuel, Scraps and Commandos. So I sh expect to be burning a bit of fuel by jumping to the next system. And this is the case, so we'll need to be careful about our jumps or we'll just run out of fuel. Sir, it looked to be some kind of beacon. So it is my soldier which is speaking? I don't know. Uh, it's a really beacon, Admiral. From what I can tell, it isn't receiving or emitting any signal from the fold net. Is it broken? I don't think so, it just appears inactive. So what do you want to ask him? So a little bit like uh, faster than light or out there, we've got events which are going to happen every time we, we are going from system to system and I think depending on what we are going to respond, different um, outcome can just happen. So I'm going to ask Caliban about uh, fold nets. I'm going to ask him if, I can, if he can actually investigate the beacon. Oh, I can just send a team. Captain Lynch, form a small squadron and fly around the beacon and see what you can find. Of course, sir. Sir, the machine was right. The beacon isn't broken. It seems just shut down. And by the look of it, it's been off for a while. Very strange, sir. How long is a while? I'm guessing here, but maybe 10, 15 years? 10 or 15 years? Yeah, at least. Could the Empire have, I don't know, disconnected it intentionally? I don't think so, Admiral. Even though they are an undesirable cluster, there are still million, millions here who have a right to speedy galactic information. I don't like this, Admiral. I don't like this one bit. Uh, let's see. I'm going to ask him about the full net. It seems to be interesting. Tell me uh, more about the full net machine. My factual recall is still a little foggy. As you know, Admiral, the Omni have invented and managed Empire tech since the dawn of the Empire. The full net, one of our greatest achievements, forms the backbone of the Empire. Think of it as a global galactic ne network allowing instant data or matter transmission through its interconnected folder and beacon. And without the Omni, of course, none of it would be possible. And let's learn more about the folder soon. Tell me more about the folders. Hmm, let me see. If I can simplify this in a way that you could possibly understand. Nice. <laughs> uh, it's the early day of the Empire. In the early day of the Empire, spell tra spe oh, come on. space travel uh, was limited to the interstice at a, a speed of 100 uh, times the light of speed. It was fast, don't get me wrong but it was still subject to time constraint and traveling for, from cluster to cluster could still take decades. To assist Empire administration and just because they could, they only invented a mean to travel from two points in space instantaneously. The folders. Yeah, each folder is paired with another folder through a process of, well, it doesn't matter for our purpose. The point is that the folder collapse or fold space for a very brief time so as to join two points in space previously unjoined. Without the folders, Oberon could never have grown his empire nor kept it together. And of course, the folder can't work without the omnis. Ok, let's just go back and see what we can do uh, with this beacon. Um, let's go back. Come on. And let's... I'm going to ask Caliban to try to see if he can reconnect the beacon himself. Why don't you link the beacon to the full net machine, uh, full net yourself machine? I can't. Aberrant hasn't programming me to do it. I'm merely programmed for my duty on JNR. 
and unfortunately since it's Omnitech no one in our crew can reconnect it either. Too bad, we could have contacted them by here now. Okay, let's just push on deeper into these clusters. Seems there is kind of a mystery within this galaxy we need to resolve. I'm more certain than ever that something is wrong, Admiral. I should have awoken you far sooner. Let's push on. Someone around here has to know what's going on. Okay, so it seems I can refuel here. Oh, Andy. So it is a bit like in Elite Dangerous. You can uh, refuel next to planet, maybe? To the stars, I meant. Um, let's keep going. So we can go to Kravax, and that's all of it. So let's go to Kravax then, to the station. Look to be an Imperial outpost. Caliban, any eat signatures? No, an Admiral. And let me guess, you're not picking up any op Omnis either. I'm not Admiral. Uh, let's just ask about the outpost then. What can you tell me about this outpost, Caliban? Seems to be just your run of the mill Imperial outpost, Admiral. There are outposts in all Imperial clusters. With the capital, Elysium, so far away, they help keep the peace and maintain order. You must show your military might so that you don't have to use it, I believe is the thinking. Let's try to contact the outpost. Ozu. Uh, it's probably, uh, won't, it probably won't, won't work, but see if you can make contact with someone, human or not, inside. Of course, Admiral. Teresa, no luck. If there, if there is any more, uh, anyone in there, they are not answering. I'm just going to send a team. Captain, lean, form a small team of commando and check it out. Report back to me with your finding a sap. You got it, sir. Sir, it's empty. Seems it was abandoned long ago. Look like the place has since been picked through more than once, in fact. So there is still life around, even though not in the station. We found a few spare omni parts here and there. Servo motor, anti grav generator, biosensor, but that's it. Look like someone came here, took the most valuable omni parts, neo and encapsulator, the ship, the chips, and left the rest behind. Scavenging anomaly, that's capital offense. Admiral, deservable of death. Hold on, sir, I'm getting a message. Seems my commandos have found something. Anomaly. It's, in, it's intact, sir, uh, from top to bottom. Is it functional? That's a negative, sir. Apparently, it was in lower level. Guess whoever was there was here before didn't go down there. But my men and women are no omni experts, sir. Uh, Maybe we should bring it uh, in so Caliban can take a closer look. No need, you can plug your datapad into its exos its exosock. Uh, do you see it? I see it. I'll take it remotely from there. Okay, what are we going to discover on this? What can you tell me? It's strange. Its exoframe is perfectly intact, it has plenty of neo -N and its positronic chip is in place. It should be up and running. Anything else you can tell me about? One thing, according to its chip, the Omni shut down 20 years ago. 20 years ago? That's roughly the, roughly the time the beacon was unlinked. I suppose you can't reactivate the Omni, can you, Caliban? Unfortunately, no. Oberon didn't program me for it. Uh, let's see. Let's ask about the chip. The positronic chip. Another Omni invention? Actually, no. Emperor Oberon invented the chip, laying the foundation for all advanced machines, including the Omni. All Omni, including me, have a chip like this. It's also beyond, beyond your understanding. I'm afraid, like, you know so much, but basically, the positronic provides us with quantum compu computing uh, possibilities. In addition, the chip enforces our Rubicon, which en ensures safe omni behavior via enforcement of several laws preventing us from arming your kind or being used directly in war. Lastly, the chip also dictates our function. For instance, my functions are specific to JNR, but this omni function were specific to the outpost. Alright, let's ask about the NeoN. 
What? No, and machine. Neo neutrinium, sir. Hundred of years ago, advanced machine discovered the existence of the final element, neutrinium. Extremely volatile in its natural state, we stabilize and improved on it, providing the powerful and longest lasting energy source yet. Neon, as it is, chemically altered form is now known, gave rise to the omni, o omni mini omni-mechanical neon intelligences. In addition to now being the one and only source of energy, it is used in just about all Omnitech, including the NS Odysseus. Odysseus. Okay, let's go back, and I think we might want to um, try to rush a bit through these dialogues, because the uh, storyline is quite interesting, but I might want to show you a bit of battles and stuff, so let's just keep going. A malfunctioning beacon, an abundant outpost, an inactive Omni, I don't like it, like where this is heading. Let's push on. There got to be someone around here who can tell us what in the name of a brun going on. So where to? We got second beacon here. Is it the same? Uh, I think it's not the same. Let's go and check. No, it's not. Uh, sir, I'm picking up a ship. What kind of ship? I honestly couldn't say, sir. There is no match in our data system. Incoming transmission. An imperial ship made from delicious telos tech. What are you going? What are you doing out here all alone? This is Admiral Ido of the Imperial Fleet. Identify yourself immediately. You are an, in Imperial territory. Imperial territory? That's a good one, Admiral. This isn't Imperial territory. This is our territory. Sir, the ship reading, reading to attack. To your battle station crew, we've got a live one. For now. Our first battle, I was wondering what, what that, when that might happen. Prepared fight. So let's see what we're going to do here. So the battle is imminent. Good luck, Admiral. So the battles are not similar to Faster Than Light are out there. It's going to be a little bit different here. Uh, let me guide you through this first fight, Admiral. NS Odysseus technology is unlike anything you've ever encountered. Everything to see here is a tactical projection connected in real time to your mind via your neurocom. This tactical interface was created to simplify and optimize your decision making process. Okay, let's see. Uh, as a human, your brain has limited ability. Focus point represents the number of simultaneous actions you are capable of performing. Each decision you make consumes these points. Once and once used, it takes time for the point to be charged. Alright, so these are the amount of order I can issue and uh, it's going to take some time to uh, replenish this. To deploy a squadron unit, you must lock one fully charged focus point. It represents the effort needed to maintain an active neural link with that particular unit. Once the squadron has been deployed, each additional order, such as moving, attacking, or chasing, will consume an additional focus point. And to deploy a weapon, you must lock one fully charged focus point. So there are points we are going to lock in there, and we won't be able to recover right away. So once the weapon has been deployed, firing it will consume an amount of focus. So I believe there is one point to deploy the thing, which is going to be uh, locked, and another point which is going to be used to fire or uh, move drones away, which is going to re reload, kind of. To deploy a specialist officer to his or her station, again, you must lock one fully charged focus point. Once deployed, your office is everything seems to be working the same. Let's just try to do this. Uh, and there is tactical pose. I always love tactical pose. I need to press space to do it. We'll do that. Okay, so we are on pose for now. Let's just see what we can deploy. So squadrons and what do they have? Can I get uh, intern? Drones, a strong against cruiser. So I might not want to deploy any cruiser. Uh, let's take a look. So I've got fighters, which are strong against drones. So we might want to deploy these. We've got drones, which are strong strong against cruisers and cruiser which are strong against fighter so it's basically rock paper skizer uh, let's just deploy these guys and i'm going to deploy them over there all right then we'll need probably a bit of a weapon to shoot at these guys so we've got our uh what was it pierce laser mk1 
I just deploy it. And do I need to de deploy a hero? Let's just take a look at this. So we've got a uh, hero Yoon, which is going to inflict a critical effect to the enemy battleship every 18 seconds. And uh, we've got also the soldier, which is going to repair the battleship. I might want to just go uh, safe and deploy the soldier. Okay, so let's just go back to real time. I expect them to come toward me. Okay, we've got our drone strategies over there. Uh, and I want them to engage these guys. I've got still three focus points, it should be possible. Is it left or right click? Left click, okay. Can I zoom in and out? Seems not to be the case. So I should be... Alright, I took a damage here. Uh, how do I shoot back? Right click to deploy. To undeploy. No, I don't want to undeploy, I want to shoot. So let's just try to shoot. Is there... I think it might be the point where I need to shoot. Alright, and we'll send our drones back there. I've got still one point to deal with them. Now they're going to begin to shoot at some point. Yes, they are. They just need to be very, very close. I took a bit of damage here, it seems. Uh, am I ready to shoot again? I think I am. I, I need two points to shoot. Okay. So I just need to wait for this to happen. And we've got a new Plasma Nuke MK3, which seems to be quite good. MK3 should be a good weapon. Um, okay, so we are done with these guys. What was that creature, Admiral? I don't know, Lieutenant. But something tell me we'll be seeing more of their kind. Let's go. There got to be someone around here who knows what's going on. And hopefully someone who won't try to kill us. It might be Andy. Okay, let's take a look at the upgrade thing. Uh, so, upgrade cost scraps, which we don't have. But we've got interesting things here. We can increase the amount of focus points, so we'll be able to do more things. We've got the battleship life, which we can upgrade. The amount of squad on dock, the amount of a road dock, weapon dock. We can increase the amount of fuel we can keep and, and commandos as well and um, efficiency of the refueling or the expedition shuttle size probably to explore the outposts and stuff if we want to send more men and maybe have them succeed a bit more easily okay interesting let's just go back i've got nothing to spend anyway and let's go to our next planet here okay so what are we to do here uh, if my sensors are correct admiral there should be a colony down there Okay, cool, so we're going to maybe do a bit of, um, let's say, colony exploration, kind of, with our crew and stuff, our squads, maybe, more likely. And can you make contact, Ozu? Working on it, and we're incoming transmission. Hello. This is Admiral Ellis Ido of the Imperial Fleet. Thanks, Sir Burrow. I thought you might be a scrapper. A scrapper? Is that what Zeus thing back there are called? What am I speaking with? I am Tegan Bowie, leader of this small of my small colony. What can I do for you, Admiral? If it is scraps you're after, I'm sorry, but we have none to spare. We're not here for handouts. We're here to find out what's going on in these clusters. To find out what's going on? What do you mean, Admiral? Um, let's see. Ask why there are no active Omni around. We found a full net beacon unlinked, an Imperial outpost abandoned, and we have yet to see a single active Omni. What's going on here? Is this some sort of sick joke? Sick joke? What? You really don't know what's going on in these clusters? In the name of Oberon, I swear to you that I we do not. No, tell me what is going on. The shutdown, Admiral. What shut down? Our Omnis. All of our Omnis shut down. What? That's impossible. That's why the beacon isn't working. And the outpost has been abandoned. The Omni shut down. And when they did, so did the full net. Now all of its folder and beacon, all of it is useless. I don't believe you. The Omni have never shut down before. But it is the truth, I swear to you. I have no reason to lie. Oh, when? 
I have no idea how it happened, Admiral. I'm not sure anybody does. It's the great mystery of our time. As for when, 20 years ago, 20 years ago almost to the day, the Omni shut down here and here at once and without warning. You've been living without Omni for 20 years? Living, no. Not really. We've been dying in these clusters since they left, and in great numbers. We relied on the Omni for everything, Admiral. Everything. Our medicine, our food, our weather, even for meaning in our lives. It's hard to give accurate number, but estimates are that 75% of the population died off in the first five years alone. 75%? No. Who, um, come on. No, who knows how many of us are left here after 20 years? 10%? Less? We are just barely hanging on. I ask you, Admiral, how could we have let ourselves get into that disposition? How could we uh, have become so dependent, so vulnerable, so stupid? The truth is, sometimes, I'm jealous of the dead. It's terrible to say, but I'm jealous because they no longer have to suffer. So, Admiral, that's what's going on. The Omni shut down here and we are all alone. I don't know what to say. I'll just ask how we can help the planet. What can the NSOD say do to help? Defeating Mother and Air Scrapper would be a nice start. Things would look a whole lot better with Zeus come out of the way. But even if you eradicate Zeus pistol spoils, it doesn't really solve anything. We are still will still die. We'll all still die unless What? You find a way to reactivate the Omnis. How can we do that? You are asking the wrong guy, Admiral. But, but maybe you have to first figure out uh, who or what shut them down. There are a lot of theories out there. Let's just ask about the ship. We encounter a ship. They attacked us for no reason. Who are these people? What do they want? People is probably an overstatement, but that was most likely a scrapper ship, Admiral. The scrappers are a group of idios, two more covert scavengers who collect Omnitech and Neoan. When the Omni shut down, causing the full net collapse in our sectors, they were the one who took over in the ensuing pandemonium. They are not the only rotten apple around here, with your parts and whatnot, but they are definitely the worst. They defeated the Imperial ship? How? Oh. How Stellos tech is second to none, and Imperial captain are the best trained. It's true, but the scrapper ship wore them down, picked off one here, another there. Plus the Empire couldn't send for reinforcement, not with the full net being down. Some colonies like her? I've managed, I've managed to starve off mother's attack and enslavement, but I don't think we can much longer. I hate to say it, but I think it is just a matter of time until they make slave of us all. Let's ask about mother. Mother. You don't want to know, Admiral. For some reason, that's what they call her. Their leader. Mother. Mummy. It's upsetting. From what I gather, Mother started the scrappers, fostering a punk anar anar anarchical, nihilistic scavenging philosophy among their sordid ranks. Who makes up their ranks? A lot of former Emperor prisoners, I think. When the full net went down, a lot managed to escape from their omni run prison. Who else? Really any kind of degenerate that ca you can imagine. What Mother loves in their in her tech, especially Telos tech, and she, she'll kill you for it, and enjoy doing it so. Mother's been terrorizing this sector for years now, enslaving men and women to bolster her number and... what? To make... into a placing and baby maker. Oh, what have I clicked on? I did not really check. <laughs> you really don't want to know who they are. The placing are mother's sex slaves, and the baby maker are, you know, to make a bunch of babies. Scrappers often die young from their neo and tumor, as they should, thanks to Burren. Mother used her baby maker to keep their number growing. Um, did she do it? Is Mother the reason the Omni shut down in this sector? Like I said before, Admiral, I couldn't say, but 
If she didn't do it, I'd wager some serious crap she knows who did. But I don't recommend asking her, Admiral. I don't recommend getting anywhere near her, for that matter. Frankly, she terrifies me. Let's go back. I don't need to know any more about this. Uh, let's go back to other things. Then. And we are going to end this con conversation here. I promise, in the name of a baron that we'll try on both accounts, we'll kill this crapper and we'll get your Omni up and running again. You say that, but you'll fail or you'll stop trying sooner or later, or worse, you'll die. They all do, Admiral. You're not the first fancy Imperial ship to make that promise to me. I can assure you that there is no other ship out there as capable as Zara. I've heard that before too. Now you'll have to excuse me, Unreal. I have to prepare for the next time Mother and her scrap attack us. I don't want our young people to become air baby maker and placing. If there is one thing I've learned in the make in the wake of the shutdown, it's that no one can save you but yourself. Take this now, and Unreal. You'll need it. Okay, nice. Let's see where we'll need to go then. Bowie out. Transmission over, Admiral. Do you do you believe what he said, Admiral? Is it true? Have the Omni shut down in these sectors? As hard as it is to believe, I I think I do. Yes, it explains everything we've seen in these clusters. Why so much of the tech has shut down too? The Omnis are not active here to manage it. So what do we do now? We can't figure out how to activate the Omni, can we? What we are going uh, what we are going to return, Jenna. No, we do that. We would. Uh, what? Uh, come on. <laughs> we do what I promised. We do our imperial duty. We eliminate these crappers and any other imperial enemy we come across, and we reactivate the Omni in these sectors. That's what we do. Impressive dedication, Emerald. No, enough babbling. <laughs> Open the star map by clicking uh, on the button below and choose our next destination. All right. Let's do that. Okay, it's big. <laughs> and where two teams? We've got uh, this one is two four. We've got oh, so the, the number is a, poten a potential threat here. So three seems to be better. And is it not? No, it's just the amount of threats there is in this system. So in this one, it seems to be clear. This is where we are, and we can go back to the entrance here, or we can go towards the Aldebarid system here. Okay, we're going to try to go with this one. There is two potential threats, it might be interesting. Here we go. What are we going to find here? I wonder. Henry, I'm getting report of some kind of outbreak. Amount our commando in A3. Several my men and women are vomiting and flourish. The flu? The medical team isn't sure at this time, sir. They're not sure? They say they've never seen anything quite like it before, so what should we do? We can administer the standard flu treatment, quarantine all the block, or continue... Nah, I think against such a thing we need to quarantine all the block. Let's go for it. It's most likely nothing, Captain, but we can't take that chance. Quarantine A3. No one gets in or out of there unless I say so. And initiate the drone doctor protocol, we don't want anyone else to get getting sick. So using the drone we'll tap into our and anyway in here reserve, we've got four, we should be fine. Be that as it may, Captain, we can't sit back and watch this thing spread through the whole ship. I'll get started on the quarantine at once, sir. So, good news, the quantum and the drone have been a success. The flu been contained and our commando are recovering. Sure, we lost a little Neoan using the drone, but the outcome could have been much worse. Okay, well, fine. Uh, let's see where we'll need to go. We need to refuel a bit, so it's not really lost right now. We'll need to also navigate to our next uh, location. We've got two threats here. Let's go to the first one. We'll see how it's going to. Be. Sorry, sir, this plant radiation level prohibits us from getting any closer. We'll have to go elsewhere. Okay, we'll do that then. And another ship. Scrap a battleship on the attack, sir. Let's deal with him. 
Got rid all crew to their battle stations. Okay, does it begin uh, post or... It is be beginning in post, so it's cool. And we've got what? Drones and drones, so we need to go for fighters. Let's just deploy fighters next to the ship here. And we'll deploy... Everything is all fine here. And... It seems to be uh, remembering what I've what I've been doing, so all good for now. And can I shoot right away? No, we'll need to wait a bit, it seems. Yes, these things need to be loaded. Let's just bring these guys on the uh, offensive here. Okay, I would definitely like to shoot these guys to help my people. Two points worth it. This this way my fighter should be able to deal with them. Then I could send them to attack the ship while we are loading the, the cannons. Plus my guy is just uh, fixing the ship, so all good. All right. It seems oh the so health bar of my enemy is on the top right, and it's done. We got a bit of scraps, so we are going to be able to unlock maybe something new. Let's take a look at this. So for 30 we can improve, I think maybe focus point could be handy if I want to shoot more often. I could also give us a bit more else, or I could just wait for more. Commando capacity might be interesting. Uh, higher fuel efficiency, I think I might want to go with this so we don't really run out of fuel. Okay then, let's go back. So do we have anything here? Oh, I can speak to these guys maybe? I can see what their uh, stats and stuff are, I just cannot go and check these skills strangely, <laughs> I don't know why anyway, let's just, uh, let's just go we've got two fuel only, so we're going to probably be in trouble at some point let's navigate to the next point, I, I wonder if we, yes, we are going to uh, burn fuel it is an issue I hope we are going to find a bit of fuel on this uh, location or we'll be in, in deep trouble Sir, our atmospheric is detecting sign of civilization on this planet. Yet, strangely, very few heat signatures. Incoming transmission, sir. A known colonist. Hello. Yes, this is Admiral Ida. Hello, if you are receiving this message, our colony is no more. It's a recording, sir. After much intense debate, the quorum on our planet made the decision that all of us would suicide. And so we have, eating the fruit of the Asherus, the least painful of all deaths available to us. Without functional omni around, life on our planet became unbearable. We experienced famine, disease, meteorological disaster and on a scale that was previously unimaginable to us. The result of this devastating uh, within five years... Oh, come on. <laughs> the results were devastating within five years, 80% of our population had, had died. Within 15, 95%. Down to our last 5%, having witnessed our friend and family die in the most painful of ways, and seeing no hope for the, in the future, we've decided to join them in the afterlife. If there is an afterlife, that is, who knows. Please don't judge us for what we have done. We tried to do what we thought was best given our situation. Death seems the only way out. Hello, hello, if you are receiving this... Oh, come on, again. Turn it off, Lieutenant. I don't want to watch it again. Uh, we are going to send a small team on the planet to... Um, to get the scraps, because they don't need it anymore. Lean, form a team and get me their scraps. So doesn't that make us kind of like, you know, scrappers? We didn't kill these people, Captain. They killed themselves. If they are not going to use their scraps, why shouldn't we use them? You're my admiral, and if you command me to do so, I will. But this might not go over well with the crew, sir. Let's go on the planet anyway. Don't make me repeat myself, Captain. My men and women are on their way, sir. We'll find a way to make up for it. So there are no defense systems in, pl in place of any kind. We've collected the scraps and are hauling it back to the ship as we speak. It's considerable old Admiral. Pretty good. Good job, Captain. 
and uh, we are just going to lack the fuel to go to the next system I believe we might lose already and I did not show you the um, I think there is a, a colony attack stuff which I would have liked to show you uh, let's see what I can do I can Oh, it might be ish and ish. I might want to go even further. And I could actually just go all the way. So if I can, if I can jump to a sun, I could maybe refuel enough so we can continue. Let's take a look at this. I hope it's not two bits to jump. It's just one, so it might be fine. Let's go. Alright. Is that a... CV ship, sir. Incoming transmission. Thanks, Sabron, an Imperial ship. Help! An electromagnetic storm has shorted our Neo and reactor. I might not be able to help. Um, to make metal walls, a pirate armada is closing in. The civilian is correct, sir. An armada, three ship, all together will be here soon. A few hours at most. Caliban, what are our option? To fix the reactor? Of course. If one is available, we can always send a specialist officer. And there is another way. Which is? Well, it's risky, but if we fire close enough to the ship, the original energy force could be enough to jumpstart the reactor. But... But what? I've never actually heard of such a technique working. Seems to be a bit dangerous. We might want to try that, though. Uh, let's try. Why not? Fire one ready. Firing, sir! Did it work? That was close, what are you doing? Try to start your reactor, Captain, now! Oh, just a second. It's not working. Leave us, Admiral, you tried. There is no point in you dying too. I'm truly sorry, we'll try broadcasting a long-range emergency signal for you. Thanks, Admiral. I need to refuel. Okay, cool, two points. It's not sufficient, we might not be able to leave this system, but... Oh, we can just jump to the next one, though. Let's do it. Uh, where to? And... Wait, there a little money sig signal here. Trading beacon, okay. Let's go there. Another ship. Enemy ship on the attack, sir. Let's go for it. What kind of ship is that? It's a new one. Oh, we've got rocks here. So these are drones, and we might want to fight them again with with these fighters. And let's drop them here, and we'll go. It should be sufficient. Oh, there is another one here. Drones as well. Okay, so my guys are going to take care of these. I've got uh, fighters incoming. And I should be able to shoot soon. So I'm going to shoot these drones coming. Uh, or... To us. Did I manage to... I'm not sure. Okay, so these guys... These are fighters. Uh, I don't think I can deploy... I should just go for another point. So I can deploy more of these fighters. Okay, done. Let's uh, hurry and send my fighter over there. I would prefer them not to cross this. Um, okay, maybe there is no choice. Now it was a mistake. It was a huge mistake. Ah, come on. I'm going to deploy something. What did they deploy? A cruiser. Cool. So we're going to be able to maybe deploy drones. Which are strong against uh, cruisers. All right. Okay, so my drones are over there. We're going to keep them close to the ship because the drone seems to be coming our way. Meanwhile... Am I not... Oh, I just lack one point. We're going to shoot the ship. I just intercept here. Okay, we won. Let's go that way. What are these? Okay, drones against drones, it might work. At least there is no advantage in any direction. Uh, 
Okay, can I get my gun so I can shoot this guy down? Good. So we can finish them and go on the attack. We're taking a bit of damage, but it's not such a big deal. Okay, we should be done soon. But the drones are not doing so much damage though. They are going to deploy something else. I believe they might deploy uh, fighters. Maybe they won't have the time though. Okay, we've got a bit of scraps. It's a shame we don't have any neo Anna, but we'll deal with it. And uh, I think I might want to uh, navigate into... Uh, oh, we've got planets here. Let's go and check this one. These planets are really pretty. So a small civilian transport vessel here. Transmission, sir. Refugees. Please don't attack. This is an Imperial ship, Captain. If you are a friend to the Empire, you are a friend to us. Oh, I assure you we are. The Empire was, I mean, has always been very good to us. What can the NS Odysseus do for you? Our planet, not far from here, has been attacked by scrappers. Terrible, vicious, hideous creatures. We thankfully managed to escape. Now we are simply trying to find a new home and arrive there in one piece. Where will your new home be? Anyway, that's safe, Captain Admiral. Uh, any moon or planet where we can live without fearing for our lives. Even trash planet, if you, if not too revolting, would serve our purpose fine. I cannot really offer them much. I'm going to wish them luck. That's all I can do. Safe travel on your journey, Captain. May you find a new home and live peacefully there. Thank you, Admiral. We wish you safe passage too. By the way, I wouldn't stick around here. Dangerous space, sir. Oh, I think we might want to do that. This is what we are looking for. I'm going to send a commander command mission on the planet. Okay, so how do I do that? I'm obviously going to send my fighter. Alright. And... Let's take a look at the other one. Because it seems error adequation here. It seems not to be too good. Let's take a look at my... Oh, no, it's worse. <laughs> Let's go for the fighter then. Uh, we're going to launch an expedition here. Attent, we've detected an, anom an anomaly on this planet. Due to atmospheric condition, our scanner were unable to pinpoint exactly where. Your mission is to find, secure and extract all available resources from the anomaly. We'll drop you as close as we can. Understood? Yes, sir. Space to ground communication will be will most likely be too dangerous. Can't risk reveling the location of our battleship. Which means you and your men and women will be on your own down there. For the most part. You'll be the one making the call. Think you can handle that? You can count me, sir. Good, now get going. Your pod is waiting and good luck, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's see what they're going to tell us. Okay, so we've got a squad with uh, plenty of people, and Joe, which is our leader of the squad. Let's see how they're going to deal with things. Scraps, cool. And where do they go next? Ouch! Uh, I think we took a bit of a hit here. I think we got two dead, two deaths, and three injury. Okay. Next one. How is that going to make it alive? One injury. Okay, all fine. We're still... Still doing it. And two deaths. Not good. What is this? Uh, did not have the skill needed. So, it seems to be important to have hero with the right skill for these missions. Okay, nothing here. Let's go to the next area. I don't really know how many point we need to... maybe it was 10, I don't really remember. A bunch of scraps, not not so much. Thanks to the skill of our hero, we are able to go through here. Another one. Okay. And let's see. Expedition report, sir. We still we are still alive. Should we continue? Okay, for today I think I'm going to ask for to continue, but maybe it would have been a, a bad idea in a regular game. Let's try to see what we can get. 
Okay, nice. We are lucky on this one. Let's see what next. So, the mission seems to be kind of a gamble. Maybe you can finish it or maybe they will all die. Who knows? Ouch. Oh. Almost no more uh, soldier available. I've got still Jerel and, and Mariano, which are alive, plus uh, Lida. I hope we are going to be almost done or it will be uh, dangerous. Come on. And uh, should we continue? I think I might want to retreat. Uh, what's going to happen if I retreat? Do I get to keep the scraps? I wonder. And expedition was a failure, the team was withdrawn in these disastrous circumstances, and the wounded were left behind on the spot. Their fate is no longer in your hand. Okay, it's not really good to retreat. And I'm not even sure I got any scraps. I think these might be uh, left over from my um, past uh, actions. I should probably try to uh, increase the amount of dock I've got, maybe for the squadron, but these are just too expensive. Um, expedition shuttle size. I think this might be what's going to do the difference when you just send an expedition or stuff. I might want to just get one more slot. Alright, uh, let's see what we can do. We're going to navigate to the next star or, uh, or station. There is a station which seems to be interesting here. I've got 30 uh, scraps, so I might be able to buy stuff. Look like a church, church battleship, so let's hope it's friendly. Incoming message. This is your only absolution, Unreal. Let me wash away your sins. Okay, this seems not to be very friendly. Hopefully we'll survive this. Um, Okay, they are using um, drones, so we'll just deploy fighters. Oh, it seems to be that my fighters are a bit uh, in trouble. They need to be repaired. But we'll try to go with them anyway. I should have switched hero because I'm not too damaged. I should just... Wait a sec. They are trying to avoid me. Are they not? Alright, so let's just shoot these guys, and you know what, I'm just going to switch hero here. I'm going to get my spy up. He might do a bit of damage to our... Ow! Stupid! I should have moved them away. I lost... Ow! Okay. Uh, let's just deploy a cruiser, it's a pretty bad idea, but I might want to wait for them to deploy something though. Are they shooting us? I think they are. Okay, they are shooting down asteroids. Or so it seems. What is going on here? They are trying to shoot my cruiser. That's all they are trying to do. And I can shoot now. Pretty bad idea because I won't be able to move the cruiser again and I'm get getting going to get shot. Yes, I did. Ah, stupid. I've been going through the asteroid field. And it's a very bad idea, it seems. It's going to be destroyed. I need to finish this fight quickly or we'll lose the cruiser. Okay, it's done. And we've got a new laser. Okay, cool. Maybe we'll be able to... I should maybe try to... Uh, switch weapon here. Let's see what we've got. We've got uh, plasma nuke. No effect on battlefield. Also, it's going to be handy against uh, fighters and cruisers and drone, but not on the battlefield. And we've got a uh, new uh, pistol laser. I think it's probably the same one. It is the same one. Okay, let's just check. I'm going to bring it back. And we'll just check uh, what's going to be available to us can heal officers. They've got a bunch of commandos available, I might want to buy them because I lost... Oh, it's costing quite a bit. And we've got heroes as well, we would be able to buy if we were a bit richer. 
Okay, so let's buy a bit of neon fuel here. Neon fuel, not neon. And we don't have any more money. <laughs> Shame. Okay, we are broken. Uh, let's just. Uh, I'm going to try to aim straight towards uh, the boss. We'll probably die, but at least we'll be able to uh, check on how these boss are going to be dealt with. I got a friendly little scrapper ship here. Tell us, tech, main condition. This is the big one. Seems to be happy to see us. Okay, so what do they have? Uh, drones. Okay, I'm not going to deploy any cruiser here. I'm going to deploy fighters, which are in bad condition, but still. Alright. And we'll shoot them as soon as possible. So oh, there is more. Okay, more drones. I'm going to wait. Ah, I should probably just try to... Are we good here? I'm not sure. Okay, and we're going to shoot the other ones. Things are coming for us anyway. And yep, seems to be uh, done here. I'm going to deploy drones as they are going to be the most likely to deal with these. Or I could deploy a cruiser and then send it, send it back. I don't think the cruiser is going to be destroyed. Ah, too late. Too late. Okay, so drones over there. And I should... Ah, stupid. Not on these asteroids. I think we might have lost a bunch. Okay, let's see. They can shoot their ship if they want, but I prefer them not to shoot my drones. Okay, it's going to be done very, very soon. Come on, buddy. Almost done. And let's just... Ah, too late. Okay. I've got a bit of money, cool. And we can refuel as well. And uh, let's see what we can do here. More focus points would be nice. Let's go for it. And let's navigate to our next destination. Uh, what do we want to go for? There is a station here. Let's go and take a look at it. Seems to me there is a bit of a population living in there. I've got a pirate ship also. A nice ship, I think they are going to try to. Yes, of course they are. I need to repair my ship. Oh, at least my little ship. Drones. And I should probably just undeploy these and deploy fighters like over there quickly. Oh, they are deploying fighters as well. Uh, I'm in trouble. I'm going to shoot the fighters. As soon as I can. Where to? Over there. Okay, they should be. I might want to undeploy my fighters and deploy something else. Okay, let's just bring them back. I don't want the fighters to be destroyed too much. Alright, and we're going to deploy uh, something which is good against fighters. So uh, a cruiser might be fine. That dam damaging us a bit. Alright, and we'll send the cruiser on his way. Come on, these guys are just going around. I'll just come back then. I'll just shoot this ship myself. Oh, it seems to be using some kind of special weapon here. Are they not? They won't reach us anyway. Okay. What is this? Seems to have stunned us. And we've got a breach somewhere. Don't know what to do with this. I just sent the cruiser. Seems I can spend um, focus point to remove these effects. I need two focus points for this one. If I'm not stunned anymore. Yes, okay, done. And what are these? These might be the one which. The, one, the effect which are on the enemy battleship, I'm not sure. We'll see, we'll see that soon enough. I just need to shoot it down. 
All right. And it is um, done. Yes, done. So what do we have to do? We have to see here. Uh, got more heroes, which I can arch. Uh, these soldiers are interesting. I love the, the pixel art of this game. They are pretty cool. Uh, we can buy more commandos, buy more neo fuel. I might want to buy some. And maybe I need more commandos because I don't know if I'm going to be uh, required to actually invade the, um, the boss area or not. So let's just move there. I'm just going to rip it. We, we are going to die also, but still. It's a beautiful sun. So another one of those crapper ships. Seems likely it's been waiting for us. Incoming transmission. So the rumor was true, an imperial ship in my sector. Never seen a battleship like yours before. Yum yum. Can't wait to tear it apart. I'm growing tired of your little gang. Tell me where she is now. Mother's going to love you so much. Know what? I think I'll let you entertain her. Let's open a private com, shall we? They are all coming, coming. Mother. My, my. Haven't seen one of li one like you in decades. An Imperial Admiral, no less. In a very shiny battleship. Might as well be tied up in a bow. Admiral Eli Idao, first Admiral of the Empire. In the name of Obron, I demand. You demand? Your Empire is no more, Admiral. The Omnis, the older. Gone. It's all gone. Your days of making demands are over. We are free now. No more pseudo -robot robotic god, no more masters. I don't know what all you've been hiding in all these years, Admiral, but these are the end of times, and they belong to us. We will restore the Empire once more to its rightful dimension. We are coming for your mother, we will end you. Oh, I do that. Beside, there are so many of us now, lurking, hiding, waiting in the dark to kill an Empire Admiral like you. And I'm not just talking about the crappers, Admiral. There are so much you still haven't seen, so many enemies, so much you don't understand. Try as you might, you'll never restore the Empire and save what remains of its people. But no, it's much too late for that. How do I... Now, I do believe my child has grown and see. Skij and this rat. Okay, let's see how we are going to... Maybe die? I don't know. Oh, it's done. Okay, so we'll see that at another time. Okay guys, so it seems to be the end of the demo. If you want to play it for yourself, you can go to the Kickstarter page and pick it up. I hope you like the video, if you do please leave a like, a comment or subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel even further, please consider following my referral link to buy your games on the Humble Store. They've got pretty nice price and interesting bundles as well. So with that said, until next time folks, happen!